Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing my painting of Do The Raw, um, the famous line from Shrek the second or the third, I can't remember, but yeah, that scene just always fucking cracked me up. And I actually did the painting exactly four years ago to the date um, of, of when I finished uh, this current painting. So it was like a four year anniversary for it for some reason. It just popped up on my Facebook and I'm like, Fuck, let's just quickly whip one up today so I can get one exactly four years later. Anyway, guys, uh, th because this is an art video, it's not going to get many views at all. I'd say tops 200. So if you can please leave a like, that would be uh, hella fucking good for me. Yeah, I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, it's for free. Just do it. Fuck. Just fucking do it. Do it. Anyway, the comment from last video, it goes to Akajem. Been watching you guys since I was 14 and I'm now 26. Crazy to see how much you have grown. Lucky to say I have one of your Pokemon paintings on my wall. Ooh. Keep up the great content. Come on, you Spurs. That's fucking, she was begging me to pin this comment. Best comment by far. Come on, you Spurs. And thanks for grabbing one of my paintings. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get into it. Radio, like always. Just starting with the uh, measurements of the face. It's just a really, really rough circle. Um, and then getting the eyes right. Uh, it's very important that the eyes aren't lopsided because you know you can definitely tell when they're lopsided. And that's the difference between you know a decent drawing and a really bad drawing when it's uh, lopsided eyes. Um, and it happens. Sometimes it happens still for me. And I can't be bothered changing it. And then when the painting's done, it's instant regret. Like, fuck, I should've just took two minutes to fucking correct that. And then you just hate looking at the painting and yeah, ends up in the garage collecting cobwebs. So now I'm doing the outlining. So this is going to be an oil painting. Um, the first time I did this uh, character four years ago um, was all acrylics and you can just tell the difference between oils and acrylics. Um, yeah, there's a lot of nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yes, that's right. Did it, is, that's a word, yeah. Nostalgic, yeah. Uh, doing it again. My other one said, do the raw. This one just says, do it. Just get straight to it. Do the raw. I love you. I love you, daddy. The funniest character, I swear to God. Um, yeah, like. Uh, always I'm just trying to wing it with the colors not too precise guys with me I always start with like a kind of kind of the lightest colors first um, I know a lot of people especially when using oil paints do the darkest colors first but I don't know I just start with the lightest I think it's the easiest um, to then compare the other colors to so um, I'm not gonna lie at the end of this, I think the face, um, the skin color came out a bit dirty and that is in huge, that is hugely because I um, don't clean my brushes properly and the colors get all dirty and muddy and you can definitely tell in this painting, I'm, I just need to get a new brush set. It, it costs like $50 for these brushes, you get like, I don't know, maybe six or seven different brushes, which is worth it. These brushes have lasted me, but I don't take care of them which I should but you know after I'm done with the painting no, normally it's at night and I'm just like quick little rinse and chuck it and just try to go to bed so yeah if you want to keep if I want to keep doing that I got to be prepared for the new brushes but and also got to be prepared uh, to have a like muggy painting it's very muggy you, you just mugged me right off um, so now up to the hats um, yeah, I had to rush this painting out, um, because I had someone's party to go to, birthday, so, and I wanted it to be done before the day ended at exactly 11.59pm, uh, so that I can get that four year anniversary on points, and guys, I just got there, I got there, posted it with like 30 seconds to spare before it hit 12am, um, I took the worst photo of it, took the worst photo of myself, um, I'll, sh I'll show it at the end, um, but yeah, I, I managed to get there, now I'm doing a lollipop, 
so uh, with the oils, like it just comes out way more 3D than uh, plain acrylics. Um, when I do that comparison at the end, you'll be able to tell. You just like, add, it just really makes it look th three dimensional and um, the acrylics gives a really flat look, which I'm sure you can like give a better look with acrylics. But four years ago, I was, you know, just starting out painting. Maybe I was like six months in. So then I decided to outline it at the end because um, yeah, it just wasn't popping from the background. And also, it's much more faster to outline than fixing up all the edges and, you know, finding the correct colors again f just for the edges. And like I said, I was trying to pump this out. Got to pump it up. No, you look pump it up. There's the good old signature. Good old Signy. And there she is. Do it around. Do it. So, yeah, I think the colors came out a bit muddy on the face, especially. Um, doesn't matter about the clothing, but... There's a nice picture um, from four years ago compared to now. There's obviously a lot of improvement. There's the comparison from four years ago. Um, <laughs> it's just so much different. This one's cute though. It's like a nice little pop art. This one did sell also. So, and there's another comparison side to side. I wish I um, cleaned my brushes properly because I have to get new brushes now. I don't like the muggy look. And are we done? Yeah, we are done. Alright guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video and I hope you get some like insights um, from these uh, videos. There's only a few of you that watch these and like I said, I'm not doing it for the views. Um, I'm doing it because it's become like fun, it's become like a hobby to upload every day. So yeah, please like the uh, video and uh, if you can follow me on Patreon, that'd be awesome. Uh, www.patreon.com slash jbrooks because um, I don't make money from this shit from uh, YouTube, uh, they pay fuck all. Um, so if you want to help support me, you can. And also my website that sells art. Guys, I did not realize that I couldn't, um, I wasn't shipping internationally. I had it turned off. So I'm like, where the fuck are the international customers? I finally turned international shipping on. Uh, for three months I had it off. I'm like, fuck it out, what an idiot. So if you want to check it out, Bob's your uncle, mate. And I'm out. Ciao.